Please stand and join our soloist in the singing of the national anthem. We also ask that you join our soloist in the singing of the first verse of the alma mater. The words for both can be found on page 41 in your commencement program. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled and a yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Southeast Kansas, neath an ever cloudless sky, far away from surging ocean and the storm bird plaintive cry, with her prairies rolling westward, where the buffalo once were free, great, with her hands I'm waving sands our own Pittsburgh state. Let us greet the gold and crimson with a strong and cordial cheer. Let our hearts be ever loyal to our alma mater dear. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dean of the College of Education, Dr. Howard Smith. Good evening, and welcome to Pittsburgh State University commencement ceremony for the College of Education. I'd like to thank our soloist, Mr. Jonathan Weatherby, who's graduating this evening with the College of Education. Let's recognize his wonderful talent and contribution to this evening's ceremony with a round of applause. Jonathan. We are here tonight to celebrate the accomplishments of over 300 outstanding students who have earned the right to call themselves graduates of the College of Education at Pittsburgh State University. To the family and friends here with us and to those watching online, I say thank you. Thank you for supporting these students in their academic endeavors and thank you for joining us for this ceremony. Pittsburgh State University is committed to the success of our students. This commitment can be seen in the outstanding faculty that I have the honor to work with on a daily basis. Representatives of the College of Education faculty are here with us this evening and appropriately seated on the main floor with the students. Would faculty here tonight please stand so that we may recognize you appropriately. <laughs> faculty of the College of Ed. <clears throat> to you I say simply thank you. Thank you for your time, thank you for your talents, 
and thank you for making the College of Education a wonderful experience for our students. Joining me on stage this evening are members of the university administration and others who will assist with the ceremony, as well as individuals who will be honored. I ask that they stand and remain standing as I call their name. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Starting on my far right in the front row, Dr. Craig Fuchs, Professor of Music and Director of the Honors College, and one of three Outstanding Faculty Award recipients for 2011-12. For Dr. Peggy Snyder, Dean of Graduate and Continuing Studies. Dr. Stephen Scott, President of Pittsburgh State. Ms. Christine Downey-Schmidt, representing the Kansas Board of Regents. Dr. Lynette Olson, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Hazel Coltharp, Professor, Department of Mathematics and Outgoing Faculty Senate President. Ms. Debbie Gree, Registrar. Dr. Brad Hodson, Vice President of University Advancement. Dr. Steve Irwin, Associate Vice President for Campus Life and Auxiliary Services. Dr. Sandra Bachmeyer, Professor, Department of Health, Human Performance and Recreation, and Mace Bearer. Ms. Holly Rabick, Outstanding Senior Woman. Mr. Zachary Kremsick, Outstanding Senior Man. Dr. Carl Kunkel, Dean, College of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Paul Grimes, Dean, College of Business. Dr. Bruce Dahlman, Dean, College of Technology. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce the President of Pittsburgh State University, Dr. Stephen Scott. Dr. Scott. Thank you, Dr. Smith, and good evening, everyone. It's my distinct honor to be here this evening and to bring greetings and congratulatory remarks on behalf of Pittsburgh State University. As president, it's my responsibility to ensure that this great institution stays focused on its mission of serving our students, the region, this great state, and indeed the world. The graduates who we recognize tonight provide ample evidence that we are succeeding. As I speak to student groups, and you've probably heard me say this, I often thank them for coming to Pittsburgh State University. Today, I repeat that thank you to each and every one of you graduates. I recognize that you could have taken your dreams and aspirations to many other institutions of higher education, but you chose Pittsburgh State. Thank you for making that choice. We've enjoyed having you here. I want to echo Dean Smith's comments about the faculty in the College of Education and extend them just a little. We are truly blessed with faculty and staff throughout this campus who do a terrific job of serving our students. Day in and day out, they work to meet the student needs by creating challenging, innovative, and relevant learning opportunities. When I visit with an alum alumni, and I'll visit with nearly 1,000 in a given year, they never ask about the buildings. They don't hardly ever ask about the curriculum or the dining hall. Sometimes they ask about parking. But you know what they ask about. They ask about the people who helped them, the people who made a difference in their lives, the Pittsburgh State faculty and staff. So I hope you will take a minute to express your appreciation to faculty, staff, and of course your families who've helped you achieve this degree. Please. Please know we are proud of you and of your accomplishments, and we want to be proud of the accomplishments that lie ahead for you. Stay in touch. Continue to be a part of this great Gorilla family. We'll continue to care about you and work to support you in the coming years, and we hope you'll do the same for us. We want you to always, always feel a part of this university and hope that you'll return regularly to see how we're doing and to see if you can help. Many of you know I'm a 1973 graduate of Pittsburgh State University and I've been at Pittsburgh State as assistant professor and now president since 1988. I've grown to love this place and what it stands for during the time that I've been here, both as a student and as a faculty member. I hope those feelings become a part of your life and that your life is full of opportunities and successes that bring you great joy and fulfillment. We recognize that what your life becomes reflects on Pittsburgh State, so we are forever invested and tied to you 
At the same time, we know that the future of Pittsburgh State reflects directly on you and specifically on the value of your degree. We're committed to acting and achieving in such a way that you continue to be proud of us and that you share and celebrate in our successes. 2012 graduates of Pittsburgh State University's College of Education, we wish you the best and congratulations. Let's give them a round of applause. In the state of Kansas, higher education is governed by a nine-member board of regents. And I know firsthand that the students, faculty, staff, and citizens of Kansas are well served by the devotion and dedication of this board. We're especially pleased to have Regent Christine Downey Schmidt with us to represent the board at this commencement ceremony. Christine Downey Schmidt was appointed to the Board of Regents by former Governor Kathleen Sebelius in 2005 and was reappointed by Governor Mark Parkinson in 2009. A former Kansas Senator, Regent Downey Schmidt earned a bachelor's degree in elementary education, how about that, and a master's degree in education administration and supervision from Wichita State. She brings us greetings on behalf of the Kansas Board of Regents. Help me welcome Regent Downey Schmidt. President Scott, members of the faculty and staff, Pittsburgh State University alumni, friends, family, and most of all, you graduates, good evening. I am honored to bring you greetings and best wishes from the Kansas Board of Regents and to express to you our pride in your accomplishments. The board governs and coordinates the Kansas higher education system, which is 36 institutions. I've been on the Board of Regents for seven years and participating in university graduations is the most rewarding part of my job, particularly for graduates from the College of Education. Um, one thing that is in my bio is that I did have 20 years of teaching in preschool, fourth grade, sixth grade, and adjunct professor, so I feel really connected here. This is an exciting time for you, and the Regents join you this evening to celebrate your accomplishments. Julia Louise Woodruff, in her 1910 book, referred to this kind of moment as being out of the strain of doing and into the peace of the done. So you can all take a deep breath, maybe even pat yourself on the back a little bit. Okay, that's enough. Because while this is the time to rejoice in what you've done, it's also a time to look forward and begin to set new goals in motion. Opening a new chapter in your life at this time in our society presents you with daunting challenges and tremendous opportunities. These times demand individuals who have the capacity to think clearly, to make wise decisions, and to act in humane, responsible, and collaborative ways. I think it's especially important to the group that's here today. We need individuals within our communities as well as within the workplace that can take the intellectual initiative, can communicate effectively, and who are willing to keep on learning. Because higher education remains the very best way for the citizens of our society, no matter what their origins or race, gender, social status, or economic background, to improve the quality of their own lives, to raise the standard of living for their families, and contribute their talents to communities. But the aim of higher education goes much beyond helping graduates to succeed professionally, as important as that is for you and for society. I believe higher education's larger mission is to prepare you to actively serve the collective good in your communities and to strengthen and enrich the world around you. Your degree symbolizes your preparation to meet these challenges. During your time at Pittsburgh State University, your professors, your mentors, your friends have helped you build and strengthen your skills and abilities. We expect great things from you. And as a region, I want to challenge you to combine your unique talents with the skills that you have learned and refined here at PSU to not only improve your life, but also the lives of those around you. Make a commitment to civic responsibility and to the belief that each of us can make a difference. Our individual contributions add to a whole that is greater than the sum of its parts. 
With a society experiencing divisiveness on so many fronts, it is critical that you commit time and talents to your community and the larger world. Years ago, I found a quote that summarized my belief about giving back, and it's not just for the benefit of others or those in need, but also for the personal rewards that are a part of giving to others. It's from an author by the name of Edwin Markham. He said, there is a destiny that makes us brothers and sisters. None goes his way alone. All that we send into our lives, all that we send into the lives of others comes back into our own. And you are going to find that especially true. You know, being asked to give a commencement address brings feelings very similar uh, to the feelings I experienced when I sent my own kids off to college and out into the world. I have this great need to share my wisdom. Now, maybe it's because I'm old or mature might be a more politically correct term, um, but I know that I'm mature because my children are starting to look middle-aged and those antique stores that I love to browse through are displaying things that I had as a child and many of which I'm still using. My address book is filling up with a lot of names, but they all have MD behind them. And no matter how much stuff I buy, the lines keep showing up on my face. I think I first became aware of this concept of being old right after Governor Sebelius called me to see if I was interested in serving on the Board of Regents. And after hanging up the phone, I remember pausing to wonder why she was calling me because I thought you had to be old to be on this board. Then realizing with some astonishment that that probably meant that I was old. So being here to give this commencement address has really two parts for me. One, the remarks you just heard, like a good regent. And then there's this whole other side of me, particularly with the connection with all of you being in the College of Education, a need to share wisdom and advice and cautions to make your way easier and your mistakes fewer. So in an effort to fulfill my parental duty, even though I'm only your regent and not your parent, I've packed a backpack with some things I think you'll need. And I actually got this idea the other day because there was an article in NPR about a lot of countries that are having earthquakes and the need to put together a kit. And so they were putting together earthquake backpacks that had battery, flashlights, water bottles, uh, slippers with steel soles, you could walk through grass, glass, etc. So I thought, hmm, what would I send with you? Well, first, I want you to get a reusable water bottle because you are the ones, particularly here at Pittsburgh State, because you are known for your efforts in sustainability. You are going to need, need to teach the world about sustainability, how to reuse and recycle, not just buy and throw away. And it's up to you to lead the way on how to live on this earth in a responsible way. Then an apple and a granola bar. Because you must be the generation that shows the next generation and each other that nutrition and exercise do matter. The United States has the cheapest food costs in the world and the highest medical bills. You must make sure that our lifespans increase, not decrease. Then there's an address book to remind you that the relationships that you have with friends and colleagues and family are your most valuable possessions. And it takes effort and attention to nurture and protect those relationships. Then you'll need a calendar and a checkbook. Not for just the reason you think. <clears throat> and you need these because you need to check yourself on what you really value. We all believe we have strong values and we live by them. But every once in a while you need to evaluate what it is that you're spending your money on and where you're spending your time. 
is there a match between what you say you value and how you spend your time and your resources? Then you need a voter, voter registration card. Because no matter how frustrating it is to listen to those political candidates, and no matter how irritated you are by those campaign ads, politics is a decision-making business, and the decisions will be made with you or without you. So choose to be heard. Choose to be responsible. Educate yourself, and then vote. It's common sense. If you want good decisions, get the best decision makers you can. And finally, just a reminder to celebrate. <laughs> there are a lot of things that are wrong with this world, and there's going to be a lot of things that go wrong in your life, but there are a lot of good things going on too, and you will have happiness and many successes. So don't forget to celebrate the good stuff. Take time to appreciate the goodness of the people around you and the beauty that the world has to offer. I wish each of you happiness and fulfillment wherever your chosen path takes you. I sincerely hope you will actively seek ways to reach beyond yourselves to help make the world a better place. Thank you to the faculty and staff at Pittsburgh State University who have dedicated their efforts to students and in so doing have made their contributions to better the world. On behalf of the Kansas Board of Regents Class of 2012, congratulations and best wishes to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Regent Downey Schmidt. Wasn't it pretty evident that she's an educator? Could you all tell? Let's give her another round of applause. That was. <clears throat> At each spring commencement, we honor two individuals from the graduating class as the outstanding senior man and senior woman. These students are selected on the basis of scholarship, academic achievement, involvement at Pitt State, and service to the university and community. As is the case every year, these two students are outstanding representatives of their graduating class. This year's recipients are Zachary Krumzik and Ms. Holly Rabick. Zach Krumzik, the son of Kevin and Jerry Krumzik of Pittsburgh, Kansas, is a biology major and a member of PSU's Honors College. His leadership spans numerous student organizations, including service as president of Lambda Sigma Honor Society, President of the Pre-Med Club, and Director of the PSU Pre-Med Pre-Clinic. He has received the President's Scholarship for Honors College, the Golden Gorilla Leadership Award, the Outstanding President Award for Student Organizations, and was named a Kansas Idea Network of Biomedical Research Excellence Scholar. Zach plans to spend the next 10 months as a medical missionary in Nairobi, Kenya, before returning to attend medical school at the University of Kansas. Holly, the daughter of Brad and Leslie Rabick of Olathe, Kansas, also is a biology major and a member of the PSU Honors College. Her leadership includes service as president of the Alpha Gamma Delta Sorority, president of the Honors College Association, and president of the Biology Club. She has been awarded honors and scholarships such as President's Scholarship, Scholarship Honors College, 2011 Outstanding Greek Woman of the Year, and the Golden Gorilla Leadership Award. After graduation, Holly plans to attend Texas A&M University to pursue a master's degree in health administration. Addressing our graduates and guests for this ceremony is our outstanding senior woman for 2012. It is my pleasure to present Holly Rabick. Regent Downey Schmidt, President Scott, Dean Smith, faculty, friends, family, and fed fellow graduates. There is an interconnectedness among members that bonds the family, much like mountain climbers who rope themselves together when climbing a mountain so that if someone should slip or need support, 
he's held up by the others while he regains his footing. That is what family is to me. People there to support us when we fall and to inspire us to keep climbing. Some of us may not have immediate family we are close to, but we all have a family here at Pittsburgh State University. That's what Pitt State is, a family. One that supports us, reassures us, and is there to live life with us. We cannot walk through campus without seeing someone we know. We all have someone to go to when the going gets tough and to encourage us to seek the impossible. Before coming to Pitt State, my family was my foundation and support for the first 18 years of my life. Our family motto is, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. They continue to be my support system today, even when I do not always shoot 10 for 10 from the free throw line. In honor of our parents and families, please give them a round of applause for all the support and guidance they have given us. Entering college, I have entered into many other families to which I must acknowledge today. When I first came to Pitt State, I decided to join a sorority, and if I am to be honest, half-heartedly. However, my time in the sorority has turned out to be one of the most influential and memorable experiences of my college career. It has taught me to believe in myself, to stick with what I believe in that is right for myself and the group, to trust others, and to allow myself to step out of my comfort zone. I have formed a lifelong family that has seen me from the time that I was a wide-eyed freshman to the who I am standing before you today. As we can remember, being a freshman is hard. In a new place and new people, away from home and family, it can be overwhelming and nerve-wracking to put yourself out there. In the residence halls, I met new friends and kept some old ones. We went through freshman year together and still today consider ourselves a family. We were there as different people and our family went through personal struggles, and we were there as we each triumphed. We told each other things that we couldn't tell our parents. We made late night trips to Papa John's, watched Christmas movies, and we celebrated holidays and birthdays together in our dorm rooms and later on in our own homes. These are the people I consider my family. These are the people I'm afraid to lose touch with as we go our separate ways and start our own families. I believe all of us sitting here have made these families here at Pitt State. While I was writing this speech, I ran across an essay in the Wall Street Journal written by Charles Whelan. 10 things your commencement speaker won't tell you. Well, here is what I am going to tell you. Your time in fraternity basements was well spent. The same goes for the time you spent playing intramural sports, working on the school newspaper, or just hanging with friends. Research tells us that one of the most important causal factors associated with happiness and well-being is your meaningful connection with other human beings. Look around today. Certainly, one benchmark of your post-graduation success should be how many of these people are still close friends 10 to 20 years from now. Both of my other families started here at Pittsburgh State. There are individual members here that I consider family as well. Our experiences here at Pitt State have shaped by today with the people who have supported us through our struggles, accomplishment, and throughout every day. That is what Pitt State is to me and to you, a family. We cannot forget where we came from or who helped us get to where we are today. Once a gorilla, always a good gorilla. Congratulations, class of 2012. We did it. Thank you, Holly. At this time, I'd like to introduce Dr. Lynette Olson, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Olson. Tonight, we are especially pleased to recognize those graduates who have earned distinction for their scholastic achievements. Students completing their graduate degrees with a perfect 4.0 GPA have earned the distinction of Graduate Dean Academic Honors. Will these students please stand and be recognized?
Congratulations and please be seated. Students completing their baccalaureate degrees having achieved a cumulative grade point average of 3.95 to a perfect 4.0 earn the distinction of summa cum laude. Will these students please stand and be recognized? graduating with a cumulative grade point average of 3.90 to 3.94 have earned the distinction of magna cum laude. Will these students please stand and be recognized? <clears throat> Congratulations. Students achieving a cumulative grade point average of 3.85 to 3.89 have earned the distinction of cum laude. Will these students please stand and be recognized? Congratulations. The academic distinction earned by each of these candidates will be so noted as she or he crosses the platform later in the ceremony. President Scott, the Dean of the Graduate School and the Dean of the College of Education will now present the candidates for graduate and undergraduate degrees. Will the candidates for the Specialist in Education degrees please stand and remain standing. Provost Olson, these candidates have met all of the requirements for the Specialist degree and have been approved by the graduate faculty. I present them to you for the conferring of their degrees. Will the candidates for the master's degrees please stand and remain standing? Provost Olson, these candidates have met all of the requirements for the master's degree and have been approved by the graduate faculty. I present them to you for the conferring of their degrees. Will the candidates for the Baccalaureate degree in the College of Education, please stand and remain standing. Provost Olson, these candidates have met all of the requirements for the baccalaureate degree programs in the College of Education and have been approved by the faculty. I present them to you for the conferring of their degrees. President Scott, these candidates, as listed in the official program, have met all of the requirements for their respective degrees and have been approved by the faculty. The deans and I present them to you for the conferring of their degrees. The graduates may please be seated. Will the marshals direct the candidates to come forward to receive their diplomas? Now presenting candidates for the specialist in education degree. Stephen Allen Brigham II, hooded by Dr. Chris Chrisman. <laughs> Kayla Ray Kelsey being hooded by Dr. Rick Linscog. <laughs> Caitlin Joe Kingor, being hooded by Dr. Rick Linscog.
Natasha Sue Cuthbertson with honors, being hooded by Dr. Rick Linscog. Jordan Kyle Hevel with honors, being hooded by Dr. Rick Linscog. <laughs> Keith Bradley Overton, being hooded by Dr. Rick Linscog. Darcy Lewis Parks with honors, hooded by Dr. Rick Linscog. Paloma Perez being hooded by Dr. Rick Linscog. Melissa Marie Bosley with honors, hooded by Dr. Rick Linscog. <laughs> Julie Dawn Michelle Dumbler with honors, hooded by Dr. Rick Linscog. Carissa Ray Hughes, hooded by Dr. Rick Linscog. <laughs> Catherine Marie Hockman, hooded by Dr. Harriet Bachner. Now presenting candidates for master's degrees in the College of Education, Abby Lee Ames, Myla Beck Little, Ellen Marie Ketchum with honors. Diane Onikate. Bashan D. Steps. Deborah A. Dodson. Nancy A. Height Morris with honors. Jody Lee Buster with honors. Carrie R. Mills with honors. Lene Lee Carnes with honors. Jada M. Reed with honors. Jenny May Hewlings. Ryan G. Corcoran with honors. Keisha T. Smith. Aaron McCullough Donaldson with honors. Brandy Stone Napier. 
Margo R. Moore. Amy Marie Manrique with honors. Deborah Sue Pearson with honors. Sally J. Smith with honors. Lance Ryan Burnett with honors. Matthew Joseph Custer with honors. Leanne Denise Paulrus. Noel Ladon Schinkel with honors. Monica C. Lafort with honors. Michelle Lee Casey with honors. Diane Marie Jackson with honors. Beth Ann Sandness with honors. Rhonda McCurdy White with honors. Stephanie Ann Webb. Deidre Lynn Stevens Bruce. Tracy R. Gordon Mendez with honors. Gwendolyn A. Wisdom with honors. Jerry W. Springer. William J. Bailey. Christopher Lee Schwartz with honors. Kevin Weber. Christopher S. Haig with honors. Richard L. Bruce with honors. Dwayne Eugene Ford with honors. Nathan T. Hendricks with honors. Matthew A. Stapp with honors. Don John Wesley Epps with honors. James F. Stanton with honors. Daryl D. Crown. Clayton Dean Wheeler. Amy Beats Loveland with honors. Allison Jean Bavona with honors. Keith J. Jones with honors. Christine D. Martinez. Travis A. Guerin with honors. Sarah Elizabeth Hunt with honors. Nicole M. Doty with honors. Kyle Reese McCaslin with honors. John Michael Marsh with honors. Anita Lynn Kinkle with honors. Hannah Lou Puckett with honors. Christina S. Bubna. Trisha Renee Cook Whitehead with honors. Tiffany M. Slade with honors. Richard Todd Nance with honors. Gary Eugene Mapes II. Adam Galt with honors. Sarah Elizabeth Erickson with honors. Annie Kathleen Yost with honors. Michelle C. Wilson with honors. Kathleen Teresa Brown with honors. Megan Dixon. Suzanne M. Elliott 
with honors. Ashley N. Tucker with honors. Morgan Cornshucker Top with honors. Bailey A. Bishard. Kelly Lee Garrett with honors. Patrick B. Thompson. Aaron E. Colvin with honors. Dana Latrice Carroll with honors. Amber C. Underwood. Heather Waters with honors. India Elsbeth Bennett with honors. That concludes the graduate degree candidates. We will now recognize baccalaureate degree candidates, starting with Anthony Z. Hans. <laughs> Ellen Marie Good. Anatolia Ruiz. Tammy Marie Morrison. Delia Collins, Casey Shaw, Catherine A. Kemp, Elizabeth Gage, Matthew Anthony Leet, Zachary W. Babcock, Ashley Brooke Belcher, Laurie Beth Bigham, Rebecca Lee Hamilton, Chelsea May Vaughn, Ashley T. Hansen, Thorina L. Peterson. Alexandria Michelle Heidebrecht. Kate Elliott Christian. Sarah Marie Rocco. Sherry A. Page. Charles Edward Jansen. Brecken N. Larson, magna cum laude. Kelsey L. Sheehy. Amy J. Williams. Rachel Elizabeth Martin. Lucinda Joe Phipps. Rachel Nicole Curry. Amber Dawn Hart, Kendra L. Britt, Danielle N. Torres, Bridget Fairchild, cum laude, Aaron J. Cicero, Megan Wilds, Jessica Marie Booth, Aaron B. Shockley, Carson Felt, Jonathan Aaron Weatherby, Jordan Lee Jamison, magna cum laude, Kenneth M. Hawkins, Jr., Elizabeth K. Ricks, magna cum laude. Molly E. Kane. Kayla M. Riblin, magna cum laude. Zachary G. Potter. 
Jenna M. Click. Joseph Daniel Hugo. Kayla M. Ewert. Jessica Leanne Pearson. Marlon J. Dewey. Sandra Renee Kepke. Dakota R. Hall. Preston Madison Pruitt. Derek Cody Pearson. Jasper J. DeMaria. Megan J. Coons. Megan Spence. Ariana Marie Garrison. Andrea Claire Hertzberg. Rosalind Rayanne Nelson. Ashley Contini. Jordan Lee Milliken. Sienna M. Paoni. Caitlin A. Brooks. Sheena Lynn Wolsey. Second Lieutenant Shannon N. Dunkel. Alexandra M. Kraft. Luke E. Snavely. Josie McCracken. Elias M. Mitchell. Corey J. Barone. Jenna Lee Crook. Wendy DeLeon. Rebecca Catherine Rosenblatt. Megan M. Skeins. Tiffany Nicole Sanders. Kylie C. Kilmer. Carly Elizabeth Hill. Christina Harris. Carly Elizabeth Ball, cum laude. Hannah Elise Hudson. Casey L. Allenstorf. Kyle Sumner Rush. Sydney J. Barber, summa cum laude. Jordan E. Dickey, magna cum laude. Carly M. Schmidt. Amber L. Weaver. Stevie Leanne Marie Long. Danielle Nicole Minnis, summa cum laude. Megan E. Day. Rachel L. Wilson, magna cum laude. Chelsea L. Malley. Christine Michelle Micah. Aaron Glenn Stewart. Cassandra L. Cohen. Carla D. Wolf. Brad Corbin Bozick. Tyler C. Polshak. Eric Charles Wells. Erica Lynn Lowe. Chelsea Swearingen. Amber Nicole Isusi. Trina Deanne Isusi.
Katie Lee Gronberg, summa cum laude. Laura L. Johns. Holly Nicole Barnes. Katie M. Gilpin, cum laude. Lissa J. Mincer. Amanda B. Fifield. Brooke Ellen Baumgardner. Sarah E. Sarley. Kelsey L. Henson. Michelle Leanne Burton, magna cum laude. Emily L. Eddy, cum laude. Mary Catherine Kahn. Nora E. Rent, summa cum laude. Emily A. Cool. Melissa A. Kurtz. Chad M. Dozier. Ryan Daniel Heisey. Ty Jaquis. Allison M. Dim. Second Lieutenant Harold Hagen Rivard. Second Lieutenant Callie S. Wheeler. Stephanie Wayner. Justin Seth Weir, summa cum laude. Jelena L. Thompson. Randy D. Barnett. Tanya Renee Smith. Helen Elise Papp. Brogan Black Hoover. Catherine L. Laidler. Courtney Shea Crandon. Rosanna N. Saylor. Amber Marie Hoffman, magna cum laude. Eva Renee Meisner. Jeremy Dean Alford. Jessica Jean Letty. Jamie J. Woodyard. Alexandra Lee Dennis, summa cum laude. Chelsea Marie Bohr. Daniel J. Dulahari. Anthony M. Crispino. Megan Michelle Plank, cum laude. Desiree D. Heatherly. <laughs> Lindsay Shaw. And Nicole L. Brown. All right, will the candidates please stand?
Got a little bit of business to do. By virtue of the authority granted to me by the Board of Regents and the State of Kansas, and upon recommendation of the faculty, I now confer upon each of you the appropriate degree, the requirements of which you have fulfilled, and do hereby vest each of you with the rights and privileges pertaining to that degree. You may now move your tassel from right to left. I like that part. Okay, that means it's, an, it's official. You are now Gorilla alumni, and you know what we say, once a gorilla, always a gorilla. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Pittsburgh State University and the more than 56,000 gorillas around the globe, congratulations graduates and best wishes for a bright and successful future. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2012. Ladies and gentlemen, we do ask that you please remain seated while the platform party recesses from the stage. That does conclude our commencement exercises. For your convenience, the doors on the south side of the arena are now open and available for your exit. Congratulations, class of 2012. Here come the gorillas! Thank you. 